Welcome to the game room. So, uh, now you've already played the main game before, right? So you know we've, we've seen the playthroughs on those. Yes. Now what this is, is it's called Zinvaded Don't Let the Zed Bugs Bite. So it's a horror survival expansion that plays a little bit differently than the main game does in a few key areas. Uh, the same basic rules apply as far as shooting, uh, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and just the general moves, charge, all the basic rules of it. Uh, the add-ons to that are going to be a new thing called, uh, it's basically a uh, BP range. It's body point range. Okay. It's a. It's what these Zeds react to. So the zombie bugs react to how healthy your character is. So the more body points you are, the more inches away that they can sense you and come at you. So the AI system has them just sort of drifting around until you get in range, and then they lock in on you and head your direction. Very cool. All right. So the same basic rules and stats apply as you would have in Zinvaded as far as how movement works, how shooting works how melee combat works. There are just a, a couple of adjustments for the Zed Bugs as far as the uh, survival horror aspect goes. When you deploy the Zed Bugs into the area, you're going to use a D10, and you're going to pick a spot for each one as you're laying them out. When you roll the D10, they're going to go that many inches the direction that the top of the die is pointing. So we'll start with this guy here. We're going to try getting him here. So he's going to move three inches that direction. So we'll just put him here. Uh, we'll start with the next grub. We want him here. He's going to go 10 inches this direction. So we'll put him right out there. Uh, see the next bug. Okay, so she'll be just figure right here. Next gentleman. Okay, so he's going to be 10 inches this way. This should be exciting. <laughs> Uh, the next one, two inches over here. Next one, five inches this direction. And then the last one, kind of be one inch to the side. So they're all kind of grouped up here except for these lone stragglers. Now you deploy your hunter at whichever kind of board edge works best for you. Now we're going to just do kind of a clean and sweep mission here where the basics of it is you're just going in to clear out the, the infection. Uh, there won't be an objective in this, but there are objectives in the missions for like gathering data, uh, gathering resources, rescuing Zin that are caught inside the zone. And so what we'll do here is when we start out, normally we would roll for initiative, but when it's just a one-player game, the hunter's always going to go first, the Zeds are always going to go last. If you have more than one hunter playing, you'll roll initiative amongst the players for the hunters, and again, the Zeds will always go last. Uh, unless there's a controller for them for certain scenarios, or the, like a more beefed-up version if you're using a leader, if somebody's controlling the Zeds, then you'll roll for initiative for them as well. All right, so to start off with, we always do a body point check. That's to see if there are any Zeds within BP range of your player. Now, I have about eight health on my guy right now currently. So yeah, so I've got one guy who's gonna be eyeballing me pretty hard at the end of this. So normally I would try to slink around, but honestly, this guy is coming at me if I don't take him out. So I'm going to probably just stand still and I'm gonna fire a shot at this guy with my shotgun. So let's see, so I got plenty of range. Now the shotgun is fun, it's an eight inch line weapon and anything within an inch of this shotgun actually gets hit as well along the path of the, of the shotgun. So in this case, it's just gonna be this guy here. So we're gonna roll for him. Now for me, right now, I've got a range combat ability of five. I'm trying to hit an agility, an agility of nine. So 
So that's going to hit. So you need to hit or beat for agility. And then when it comes now for, for, uh, for the next shot, we'll see. So that hits as well. Now we're doing piercing. To pierce exoskeletons, you need to make sure you beat that number. You know, so if you meter beat agility, you beat exo. So my shotgun is a piercing of six, and I'm trying to beat an exo of 12. So I need a seven or better. So that didn't do for the second one. Okay, so I didn't do any damage, but I am going to mark an ammo circle now. So that takes care of that. So he has fired. Uh, now I have another action, so I might just go ahead and shoot again, I think. Okay, so that should, let's see, what would I try to do? So I'm, I got a five, I'm trying to hit a nine. So that doesn't quite do it. Six, that great. So that one hits. Let's see if I can actually do some damage. Okay, so no damage. Apparently I brought the Nerf gun with me today. You know, it is Nerf or nothing, so why not? So I mark another ammo circle. Always remember to mark your ammo circles. All right, so now it's the Zed's turn. Now, because I fired a shotgun, every Zed now can hear me. If I hadn't fired the gun, they would continue to wander around being outside of body point range. They wouldn't even be aware of my presence, and only he would be coming in at me. But because, like a hero, I tried to take out the one, I've now drawn the attention of the other. So the first guy here, he actually is likely within charge range of me. So let's see. Ah, uh, yes, he is, because it's your it's your uh, speed plus three. So he is going to charge in at me because he's a hungry, hungry little man. So now he's going to uh, make an attack at me. His melee combat is a four. I have an agility of ten. So he just needs to roll a six or better, and that hits. Now he has a piercing of six against my exo of. 11, so he needs to roll a six or better, and that'll do it. So that takes a body point off of me. And now we make sure we're looking at the special abilities. Okay, so now he's hit me with a melee attack, so I have to spend one action on my next turn in order to get free. No other action can be taken by my model until it's free. So to break free, I must successfully hit this model with a melee attack, and if I'm successful, the model suffers no damage, but is pushed one inch away. So... All right, so the rest of the Zeds now, let's go ahead and move these guys up toward me. Now, the Zed Grubs move five inches, and because they've been activated by sound, they can move the whole distance up, so they're going to double move to here. Double move to here. Double move to here. A lot of double moving today. There we go. And now these guys only move four inches, so they're going to double move to here. And we're going to get a double move right up to here. So that's the Zed's turn, and that was my turn there. So now, as far as melee combat goes, uh, we're going to go ahead and try to break free here because it's my turn again, being that there's no other players. I just get to go right again. Okay, so now I did auto hit, so that pushes him one inch away. And while he's one inch away, what I'm going to do is with my next action, I'm going to take a piece of equipment called a crybaby. It's a grenade that looks like a little, uh, a little inflatable dude. I'm going to take it and I'm going to toss it out to here, and I'm going to hope that it lands somewhere close. It did not. It's going to land nine inches that direction. I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to dice rolling. Okay, so he's going to land somewhere around here. Now, the great part about the crybabies is that they have a 10-inch body point range. So what will happen now is once it's deployed, it sends out a pulse signal 10 inches. So it's going to reach out to here. So basically everything in this cluster here is going to turn now and face the crybaby. So for the next activation, they're coming after that. And so that's a fun little tool you can use to keep the heat off. Now, I still have to wrangle with these monkeys here, but uh, I should be able to hopefully make short work of them. All right, so that was just the, uh, a, a simple turn of a, of a one player game. This is one or more players, right? The exactly. Version? The book, the, uh, the box is going to come with two hunter figures. Uh, it's going to come with three or four of the Zed bugs, three or four of the Zed grubs, and it'll be initially it'll be a one player uh, AI system. So one person can play the game by themselves anywhere they're at if they want to kill a little bit of time. Uh, but having two hunters in the box, you can add another player, and then you can keep adding players. And it doesn't have to be a hunter model. You can use any Zinvaded model that you own. You 
you're going to make as a hunter. That's cool. uh, and the great part about that is like with the crybaby, as you saw, that little grenade deal, right. any of the figures can carry that because the pack with the crybaby actually comes with a couple extra grenades. So you can glue one to your hunter and you can glue another one to another right. invaded character so right. they can carry with them for the battle. That's super cool. Um, and if it's a multiplayer game, do the hunters attack each other as well? Oh, it can be uh, it can be cooperative or it can be antagonistic. It's all in how you want to do it. I've we've had some fun play testing. We had a we had a married couple. The husband spiked a nail into his wife to stick her in place. He threw the crybaby right in front of her, and he bailed with the objective. So, uh, you know, especially an objective based, you run the risk because people want to win. Right. You run that risk. I don't know how that worked out for their marriage. I hope it worked well in late in the end. But uh, yeah, you can cooperate or you can go against. So that's very cool. Yep. Zinvaded. Don't let the Zed bugs bite. Kickstarter 2021. We're looking around Octoberish. Octoberish. And I do have one other item I wanted to show if oh, you wouldn't well, mind. Absolutely. You wouldn't mind. I'd love to see it. Yep. Okay. So what we have here is a custom carry case designed to design like a book. That's awesome. And what it's going to be is it's a nice. It's a. It's going to be burned in. It's going to have the actual logo, the the sticker art from right. the from the game itself will be actually burned into the front, and it'll be a nice way to store your game. When you open it up, you're going to have space for the hunters, you're going to have space for your Zeds, your, your crybabies, everything else, all the game components and more. It'll be a fun little way to store your game when you're not playing. That is fantastic. So, yeah. That is gorgeous. And this is this is wood. Yeah, it's wood. It's a, it's a nice wood. Our partners over at Arena Gear are making these for us. That is super cool. I'm excited. Oh, I'm very excited. I can't wait to get one myself. <laughs> All right. It's invaded. Don't let the Zed bug bite. Don't let the Zed. That's going to be a mouthful. I know Don't it is. Don't let the Zed bug bite. Coming to Kickstarter. I am excited. John, thank you very thank much. Thank you for very your time. much, John. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, as always. Take care now.